Okay, alternator man here. Today we're going to be working on the General Motors AD series alternators. The this AD series was used from '99 up, uh, and after 2004, they started using a two-prong plug regulator. Where the original AD series came with a four-prong plug regulator. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing the two-prong plug used on many 2005 and newer. GM vehicles, Chevy trucks, SUVs. Uh, you can, if you have a good alternator, let's say you have a 200 amp or a 250 amp, one of these ADs sitting around with a four prong plug, and you've got a newer vehicle with a two prong plug, and you want to be able to swap that over and use it, we, we can do that. We have a conversion voltage regulator for that. And to do that, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pop the rear cover off this uh, CS series alternator, and to pop the cover off, what you have is these little plastic clips that are holding on. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick a screwdriver down here. When you rock the screwdriver back, it un unclips that clip. And you work your way around. There's several holes on this alternator like that. When you rock that round, it, it pulls that cover off. You get back in there and you can pop that cover completely off. That's how you do that. And once you pop that cover off, you're going to expose the back of the alternator. And we have one right, right here. And on this alternator, with the cover off, uh, this is one of the heavy-duty units. And this heavy-duty unit... You'll notice this one has a copper heat sink where a standard unit has a aluminum heat sink. Here is a uh, standard type bridge rectifier and the positive heat sink on this is aluminum and as well the other advantage of it is it has higher amperage and voltage rated diodes. The copper heat sink, the larger battery stud is silver soldered right into the positive rectifier we're on a standard alternator this is just a swedge fit you can probably not see it down in there very well but there's a just a just a, a spline or a splice where this terminal is just the stud is just pressed down in there and a the bolt holds it on and corrosion and crud can get in there and they're not very reliable where the silver soldered unit those things are super super tough with a copper heat sink that's what makes this thing so much better now to change this regulator, the standard voltage regulator, the, the four-prong plug type version, is held on with three screws here, here, and here. And you're going to want to take those three screws to take that off. But the point I want to note out here is this voltage regulator plugs into the bridge rectifier at two points. A little lower point down here and an upper. Two little terminals right there. You can see there's the lower one and here's the upper one. And when you switch this over, you're going to have to under, unsolder these. And the new rectifier is only going to have one. It's just going to have the upper stator. And you actually have to cut, get in here with some side cutters. Once you take this off and cut this lower terminal. The lower terminal feeds positive power to the voltage regulator. But the upper one uses a special tang right here. This is where it's going to pick up its positive power at the battery stud. We're going to take this great big nut off here. That's what we do to be able to change this out. So what I've done is I've taken that, unsoldered that, taken that apart, and here's what we have. Now I've already cut, whoop, let me get in the scene here. Now I've already cut this lower positive power terminal off, and I slightly bent up the upper one to be able to put the new voltage regulator on. And you can see that I have the big nut. I have the large, I've taken the large nut off of the battery stud. That's all off and now we're ready to put this new regulator down already. Now what you do is you just slide the regulator down on and twist it in place and now with a new regulator you're going to only have two screws holding this on instead of the three. There was one in over here but this new one's only going to hold two. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, put our positive power stud back on and I'm going to spin this down with a wrench over here. First we're going to put the uh, two screws in. Get these screws mounted in here. Well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. What I have to note here is uh, when you're putting this regulator down on here, this is where this regulator bolts down, it's a little bit different. There's a cavity up inside this regulator where the other one had a big solid piece here. 
because this regulator is made to go on just a slightly different housing than this and so we're really adapting it over so what you want to do is you want to put your your uh, bolt through there and then we've got uh, six little bitty aluminum washers that you're gonna that we're gonna supply with a regulator you want to take those six little washers and put them over the uh, stud right here that's gonna give us some spacing to make up and so you're gonna hold those all on as you flip your regulator over and down put it down on slide it in place get that bolt started so those washers don't fall out of there and then you're just gonna tighten it down crank it down a little bit put our other screw in there get that started There we go. Now that regulator is already tightened down. Now you can see we have the two prong regulator on there. Now I'm going to put my battery stud back on here, spin that down, and use my electric wrench. Now I've turned that large nut back down on there. And like I said, that's where it gets its positive power. And if you want to switch over to the other, back to the other regulator, you can pick up your positive power here and plug it into the regulator any way you want. Now on this unit here, when we were doing this adaptation, the uh, stator signal coming out of the rectifier does not quite line up very well with the one on the new adapter regulator. So what we've supp we're supplying with this is we have this little jumper wire and this is going to be supplying the positive power to the unit. So what we do is we first just plug that plug that unit in here. We plug it into the the stator signal on the rectifier. Then we're going to stick it down into the the voltage regulator supply and what you would do after this is these two connections right here you would solder these in you want to solder these where those two connections go I'm not soldering them but once you get those soldered in you just merely bend your wires down you take your cover because your alternator is going to be all together and you merely take your cover put your battery stud back on snap your cover down in place with a heel of your hand and there you go you've changed that regulator out in just a few minutes from a four prong plug to a two prong plug thank you